Let me show you how I was able to use a simple text document that generates a bunch of different renders out of After Effects without actually me physically opening up After Effects and making all those renders and changes myself. Now, this is not a, a tutorial, it's just me showing you the end result. So let me show you. I'm gonna right click here and create a new text document like this. So we have a text document, I'm gonna double click on it. And here I'm gonna paste this line of text. And basically you can think of this text as like a heading for each column. So think of it like a spreadsheet and we have like columns here. So we have status, board, name, country, and path. So status has to do with like ready or done. So if it says ready, it's gonna render. If it's done, it's gonna ignore it. And then we have sport, uh, the sport of the person, the, the person that plays. Basically, this will generate a bunch of lower thirds. So it's a sport lower third. So you name the sport, like maybe it's for the Olympics or something like that. So you name the sport, name of the person, country that the, that the person is from originally maybe. And then the path, it has to do with the output path. Like where do you want the file to end up? Like do you want it to end up in this folder? So then you take this path and paste it in here. So that's what those are for. And now basically we're gonna type each line of text here and each line of text represents a separate lower third, a separate render essentially. So the first one status, I'm gonna say ready. Then sport, we're gonna say soccer name. I'm gonna use my name, Sergey Prok. Nevsky, and then country, I'm gonna say the country I was born in, so I'm gonna say Ukraine. And then path, I'm gonna copy this path in here and paste it in here. Okay, so this would be like a an actual lower third, basically. That's what that is. So it would be a separate render. So that's render number one. Let's do the same thing again. I'm gonna say ready, maybe do another soccer. We can say something like Sergio Garcia. That sounds like a Spanish name, so I'm gonna say Spain. And then the same path, so basically I want for it to end up in the same folder. So we have two renders, let's do another one. I'm gonna say ready, let's do baseball. And uh, let's do like Mark Miller, that sounds like a German name, so I'm gonna say Germany. And the same path. And then last one, I'm, I'm gonna say done, just to show you that if even if I have something written in here, if it says done, it's gonna ignore it and not render it. So I'm gonna say, Let's do basketball. Let's do Mike, James, and United States, and the same path. Okay, so we have like four lower thirds right here queued up, but only three of them are actually gonna be rendering. The fourth one is gonna be ignored. So that's what that's for. I'm gonna save this and then navigate back over here. We do have this document, and I'm gonna rename this document to list. Now watch this, as soon as I click away, magic will happen. After Effects will fire up and then it's going to open up a project file and make all the changes based on this text document that we just created. And then it's gonna create some renders. And once it's done, it's going to close After Effects. So watch this, Sir Soccer, Sergey Proknevsky, Ukraine. So it's working on the first one on the list. There it is, so it is put, putting it in the right folder here. That's awesome. And once it's done rendering first one, you can see it updates itself. So it says done, so Sergey is done. So then it's gonna to go to Sergio Garcia, which it's almost done with that one. So we have it in here, Sergio Garcia, let's check the list. That one is done as well, which is awesome. Then we have basket, uh, baseball Mark Miller. Let's see if that one is done. So as soon as it finishes it, that's the last one on the list. It will close After Effects. We have all of them in here. In fact, we can see what they did exactly. So we have this baseball Mark Miller from Germany. If I double click on this and if I move myself out of the way here, you can see we have Mark Miller, let's play that again. And Mark Miller, Germany, that was baseball. We have the icon, we have the name, perfect. Then let's try something else, soccer, Sergey. And so we have Sergey Proknevsky, uh, Ukraine, soccer, soccer, perfect. So that one worked as well. Then we have Sergio Garcia from Spain as well, uh, the soccer one as well. So that's awesome. And yeah. That's how easy it is to do it. Now, the beautiful thing about the list thing, I mean, you can have it, maybe you can have this set up to where you can have the computer running somewhere on the network that nobody uses. And anytime someone updates this list, it will constantly open up After Effects on that computer and render it and then put it somewhere on the network that you can easily grab. So for example, if I come back here and I'm like, you know what, I forgot, I actually need to render this one. So I would just change this one to ready. And as soon as I press save, 
watch this it will again do the same concept again it will actually fire up after effects find the project file uh, update well basically update the project file make the render and based on this list right and then once it's done rendering it's going to update the list it will place this render in here as you can see we have the basketball one in here as well it's almost done so let's wait for it to finish and boom it's done so just like that i can go back to my list in here and we can see that basketball is done mike james united states let's see what that looks like in here so basketball we have mike james united states yeah it's that simple and by the way if you want to play with this lower third that i just showed you this one right here uh, i actually created this one for adobe stock so it is a mogard that you can go and download for free it's available on their website and i'll include that in the description of this video the link to it so just click on the link you can download it and play with it i created a few other ones as well like transitions and something like that it's been a minute but you should definitely check it out and uh and you might be wondering like how are you doing this how are you making after effects to open itself up and things of that nature well i'm using a batch file this right here so this batch file uh is searching for this list file and anytime there's any kind of update or change then it will trigger after effects to open so for example let me get rid of this so i'm going to get rid of these i'm going to open the list again and i'm going to say this right here garcia i'm going to say ready and as soon as i press Control s which is save right watch what happens here so i'm going to save it and boom you can say text file has been changed and when you Obviously, next step is for it to open up After Effects. And once it opens After Effects, then it opens uh, an, an actual script that kind of guides the whole process. It opens up the project file, it tells you, you know, updates all the info, and then tells After Effects where to render. So it's very smart like that. And once it's done, it's gonna close itself, but yeah, but you do have to have this batch file running the whole time. So again, you can do it on a separate computer somewhere. As long as it's running, it's going to be constantly searching for that file right here. And when it detects changes, it's going to trigger After Effects. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. If you like the videos that we post on here, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, follow us on social media. We do have an amazing mentoring group on Facebook. It's a private mentoring group, it has like six thousand and a half or so people and they're amazing very talented it's a mentoring group and, and i say this all the time it was designed to help people so people that are on there right now are either helping somebody or they're being helped or they're doing both so it's a it's a great community i call it like a family uh, we help each other out and we have some giants of this industry in that group rubbing shoulders with everybody so you never know who you'll be uh you'll be talking to i mean just the other day, I was, I saw someone was talking to, they thought it was a regular person, but that person is in charge of like a pretty big um, uh, sports network. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, we have lots of in interesting people in that group. So definitely join, we'd love to see you in there. And uh, with that, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com. <laughs>